Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day, and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying our developer use versions will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as part of a larger project and customize the database down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. If you don't like the way something works or want a new feature to be added or anything of that sort, well, contact customer service. Hopefully they'll get to it in the next update. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want. And applications can be customized to your heart's content by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. If you don't have this expertise or know someone who does, Winning Solutions can make any customizations you like, or perhaps build a brand new system from scratch. With Microsoft Access, nothing is ever impossible. If you need it, we can make it happen. Just contact us for a quote. These days, there is understandably a big push for mobile and web-based apps. If that meets your needs better, then we could do that for you too. But Access continues to be a popular tool because it's included with some versions of Microsoft Office, is relatively inexpensive, and is easy to work with for people with limited programming knowledge. Okay, so with that in mind, let's take a look at the class modern demo database. So I'm going to open it. I've already unzipped it. And we're going to get a standard macro warning. It just tells you that macros can potentially spread viruses and other bad stuff. And we don't know whether this is a trusted location or not. However, of course, all of our templates are safe. So I'm just going to go ahead and open. Now we have a main menu here. And there's quite a few items on here. So let's kind of go through these one at a time. First thing we want to do is some basic setup stuff. So we might have different course types, for example. And I might set this as in-person, online, or hybrid, for example. Uh, class location. You know, we could set uh, main campus, downtown. Uh, again, this is a rather generic template that's meant to be customized and all, and all sorts of stuff. Customized, put into a larger application. Remember, this could be for a, a standard school or college, a vocational school, maybe, you know, it's a community education center where you're just running a bunch of standalone courses. So this is, this is meant to be very, uh, it's kind of, it's meant to be very generic, but of course this thing can be customized, infinitely customized uh, to any detail that you need. So we can change the behavior of this, or you can change the behavior once you have the full application and and if you have the uh, programming knowledge to do that. If not, you could, again, find someone or even hire us. So I'm just gonna put these two, uh, those two locations in there. I won't bother with address or anything like that. Let's get students in here too. Not going to bother with uh, addresses and emails and things like that. Okay, so we've got three students entered here. We've got the course type set up, class location. Oh, we got the student information here. Okay, so let's set up the course first now that's of course the that's the actual course and we have three courses set up here already advanced physics of course two kind of was in there by uh, by default as one of the courses but, but we, we can add one as well so we're just going to go ahead and put in a new one um, i have a math background so i'm a little biased here Course hours, let's say that's 10 hours. You can put in a tuition type, a tuition here. Um, expiration date, uh, let's, let's assume that's a, a hybrid class, meaning part in person, part online. If you're watching this in 2020, you know, you know most things are online right now. So um, instructor, and so we've entered a couple of instructors here. Um, 
I'm going to prove. I think uh, and Einstein, Mr. Einstein and Mr. Smith can both can both teach this. Um, you know, we go back to philosophy. We'll put Socrates for course two. Uh, advanced physics. I think only uh, Dr. Einstein can teach that one. And now we set up a class. So a class can be maybe thought of as a section. So we, we could set up a section of modern philosophy. Um, we'll, since Socrates is the only uh, one improved for that. Um, I won't bother with start times and end times. Class location, we can put main campus. A lot of this may not apply to you, or you may want other things put in there. For example, you generally, if it's a college course, you wouldn't have, per se, an end time. You'd have a start date and an end date. Whereas if it's a one-time workshop, you might have the same date here, and you might have, you know, let's say, uh, 9 o'clock a.m. to uh, 1 o'clock p.m., and it's kind of precise with the way it takes times in here. I, I could, if I just put nine o'clock by itself, it would give me an error. Um, you know, data integrity is very important. Now, of course, you know, right now you have to select, or you can type one of these in. You don't necessarily have to scroll down, but you see there's every minute between midnight and midnight. You may not want that. You may want only 10 minute increments between, you know, 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., for, for example. So that could be set up as well. So all of this is flexible, all of this can be changed, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, let's, let's see. Make a new one here. And let's say, we'll put a section of advanced physics and only Albert Einstein can teach that. Um, maybe that one's in the afternoon. And I'm not, I'm not going to go overboard with all the class room numbers and all that. Um, but we can enroll students right from here. So now instructor information, we've already set up two instructors here um, with names and email addresses. And you can set any um, anything you want on there. Uh, Cal I want to go back to set up course two class and see we can have a custom color for this so I'm gonna make this modern philosophy let's make that a, a, give a yellow color as its custom color and we'll let uh, we'll let advanced physics be I don't know a purple and uh, that way when you view this actually let's let's put in um, let's put in September 5th to September 10th, All right? And let's go back here. And we'll put this one September 15th to September 20th, let's say. And so when you look at these in calendar view, and I think the first one was September 5th. So we, we made this course purple, probably not a great idea, uh, but we made this course purple so it shows up as purple on the calendar. Uh, if we went to a monthly calendar and saw all the classes for that month, so now we have a, a full calendar view and you can see the color coding on here, which uh, works very well. And again, finally, we have a search here that we can run and you know we can search for we can search we can search for any subject location start date let's say you know we get everything that's 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 starting uh that, well the start date from not from 9 5 on that's why it's showing the 9 if we just say 9 15 here instead then we have so so we could do all sorts of search and again we can add search types we can add more tables if you want, um, you know, list of TAs or if you have, I mean, if you, you can make this really advanced and really customized, this is meant to be generic in some sense and that it's meant to be expanded upon. It is a template at the end of the day. So you, know, you, you can make whatever customizations that you need to make to this. So I think that pretty much takes us through all the main features here. Um, you know, sky's the limit with access, as we always say. So you can customize this, add, remove, add buttons, remove buttons, change how things function. You know, for any type of school or course or training center, uh, anything, 
it can be customized in any way, in any way that you need. So I, I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, so that takes us to the end of the class scheduling and tracking database. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more great videos and more free stuff. And again, thank you for watching and have a great day.